Hello, hello. Today, Today we are going, going to delete multiple, multiple threads from the discussion board in the Blackboard course website. This comes in very handy in the beginning of the semester when you are do this, setting you up your new course and perhaps you copy you over your discussion board to the forums Blackboard and the threads course do come along with that when you do on your copy Blackboard them over course from the previous semester. Mine is located in the middle so the first thing you want to do is go now, into your course website, website and navigate this module, to your discussion you board the top forums. Right you can do this via the course that manages management menu under course tools and discussion board. Or if you've created a link within your course content now, once area, you've selected that, you'll you can also select that in there as well. Um, once you're in we'll the you discussion a board form things, area, you, you want to select the discussion board that um, has a lot of people posts. like to do this. Um, and we're going to do the old course discussion. And you can see it has at least a semester or two posts. semesters to make um, sure if there's any content they need from their old course site, they still have easy access to it without having to access When you select that, page. it opens up the you form, and it loads all the threads from the previous semester. And it will, now up here you can see a very the top of the form for the very first um, thread, there is a gray uh, bar. It will automatically select Check all within the box terms. For the current if we select this term box, that is going on, select all um, of the and again, the threads, as I said, that it'll uh, do within a this discussion form. It'll show the term, so you want to select and you can the delete option, um, so just and you will get a pop up box that asks if you, you can would also like go to down here and edit your course. You want to select now, courses are automatically grouped into three different settings within Blackboard. There are courses you are teaching, so anything you have an instructor role in. Courses in which you are enrolled, so this is anything that has a student role, and then courses in, in which you are teaching. Then we can see we so get the green success TAs, bar that we have deleted um, threads, and, and you can see in the content area down here well. in the discussion forum that so there, you will notice here deleted. that when you are on Please this page, mind that once you are given, this, you can not course unmute, unmute, and then a set of options the threads are gone. Form of check so please, please, please make sure that you don't need them for any reason. Um, these are just the display options if you want to display the but course name. This is how course you do ID. It's very you simple. And I hope display the instructor. This is announcements, the tasks, and calendar to their events. Threads within now, the last three options announcements, tasks, and calendar events are all options only if those are used within the course. If you don't post announcements, nothing will show. If you don't use the task feature or the calendar events feature, then nothing will show in those either. Um, but they are available if you do use them for you to put. So we're going to scroll down to a course that I TA that we want to remove. And let's see, a spring course, so this is what we're going to do. The, if you notice to the left of the name, there is a check mark box as well. This is the select all, unselect all feature. So if you select it once, you'll notice all the check mark boxes that I didn't have previously filled are now filled. But if I select it again, it unchecks all of those boxes. This will remove it from being viewable on the main module. All you have to do now, once you've unchecked the boxes, is select Submit once. And you can see we get the green success bar that we're so familiar with with Blackboard. And the module has been successfully updated. So now when we go on, we can see that, yes, indeed, that is no longer listed here at the bottom where it was previously. This has been Aiden Sizemore with How to Edit the My Blackboard Course Websites module.